Regarding the beautiful shell of this beetle aroused my interest for light, colors and matter. I was questioning how is it possible to use light and material as a tool to transmit information and further how can we reveal invisible forces. By doing a variety of experiments I tried to explore the behavior of different matter and transform it in a new and abstract way. Therefore I put a special focus on the movement itself and how one could show it in a different medium. By doing a variety of experiments, I try to explore the behavior of different matter and transform it in a new and abstract way. Therefore, I put a special focus on the movement itself and how one could show it in a different medium. In this connection, I created an object which connects science, art and design. Further experiments were about to discover the three-dimensional appearance of a magnetic field, an excurs towards the question of our perception using a geometric construct developed by Ludwig Schleffi to show the fourth dimension by the shadow of a three-dimensional object. As light itself and its treatment is the main cause for invisible phenomena, I focused my studies onto light and its movement in connection with different material and surroundings. I used fluorescence to reveal the invisible movements within water and went further trying to portray invisible things using these movements. Therefore, I reproduced a small galaxy using a plastic bowl and fluorescent powder. This illusion-like image should point out how much our mind is influenced by our perception, treating invisibility as well as a psychological process. So, the final experiment was therefore created to connect the different attempts of matter and movement. This object contains a variety of characteristics as it gets liquid by heating and stiff when cooling down again. Further, it can conserve small objects or liquids, is changing its appearance by exterior pressure and is sticking to most of the materials we know. By its unconventional structure and fluorescent particles, a special refraction of light is created. But how can we use light in an abstract way to explain things and to reveal something invisible? Questioning the different types of invisible phenomena led me to the absorption of colors, which is as fascinating as obvious. To demonstrate this phenomena I used colored yarn to show the different length of light waves and of course spectral colors. By creating the first prototypes I discovered that this yarn is as well an indicator for the direction and refraction of light. So why not taking this further and searching for objects which contain all the different aspects of my attempts? A solution was found in different specific types of microscopes. Therefore, and in connection to my attempts of manipulating light, matter and perception, I decided to point out the difference between a casual microscope and a fluorescent one. As the borders of casual microscopes are reached, just special microscopes are in line to reveal further invisible objects. Symbolizing lenses, different light filters and light rays, acrylic glass and colored yarn was used attempting to create as well an invisible and scientific character within the object's appearance. 